Hello and welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe and you can find my Instagram handle link down below in the description box. And for today's video, I do have a really cool plan with me here. It's in my rings planner from Papershire um, and it's going to be my very first plan with me in here. And let me just show you guys the inserts I'm going to be using. It's... Sorry, that was pretty loud. Um, but these inserts are actually inserts that my mom and I made, but we are not done yet. We're not, this is not the final result. It's obviously going to look much better than this and also, uh, yeah, overall much better than this. It's just that um, it's been a very long time since I've planned and I have a whole stack of kits here that I need to plan using my ring planner and so I've been holding it off for like over a month planning in a rings planner and so it's sort of time to plan um and I have stickers planned pulled out I like these stickers um these stickers like I have a whole bunch of stickers that I need to f use and like plan but I haven't had the time yet and mainly because the inserts aren't done yet so I this is just printed on just regular paper just because you know it was a test print and I'm really busy recently um but yeah that's why so it's gonna be pretty flimsy and also I need to test out the format because it is an A5 not an A5 wide and so Saturday and Sunday is pretty short and um I'm going to be you know printing it differently so one I'll print it on cardstock and it's going to be double-sided. Um, there's going to be more space for the hole puncher. Um, I had to put like the ring protectors around it just because it's so, you know, thin. It's probably going to rip. And then obviously leave more bottom washi space. Because now I'm thinking what I'm going to do with the bottom washi because it's not going to be able to fit. So that's something. Maybe I could... Oh my gosh, wait. What if I... You know what? I'm gonna do something. And yeah, I'm gonna do it. So I apologize. I'm going to have to take another thumbnail photo, but I am actually gonna swap. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. I can totally do that. Because I allow myself to. Here are the stickers that I'm using. And here are here's the kit. Here's the kit that I'm gonna be using now because I realized there's not enough space for me to fit the whole bottom washi and I don't want to cut it off because I don't want to throw it away. So I'm just going to use this strip of washi. I'm going to explain everything in my voiceover, hopefully. Uh, it's really late right now and I'm tired, but I really want to get a plan with me in my rings planner in. So here we go. Um, again, this is going to be a voiceover video and yeah, this is from Cinderella Paper and let me just quickly flip through this. Um, I did haul this, so I went over the format and went my sticker haul, so definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get started now. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my voiceover. Okay, I am in voiceover style now. Um, I just finished this spread last night, actually, so I am doing the voiceover the next day. Um, but yeah, okay, first off, you guys are probably really confused because I changed kits. Um, I was going to plan the week before, but you know what? Things happen, you know, and you know, I just did not want to ruin the bottom washi for the other kit. And so I changed this kit from Cinderella Paper and I just started planning the next week, like the second week in September. Um, and I decided to not use the purple strip of the washi um, so I can pull that into a spread that doesn't have washi um, since you know the color it's easier to pull in com like personally I feel like it's easier to pull into another spread compared to this marble color which is really stunning and is really beautiful but I don't think I have another kit that would match those colors so that's just the main reason um, but yeah here we are going in the full boxes um, because there isn't that much space I decided to not put any full boxes on Saturday or Sunday maybe I will in the future if I don't have much to mark down but for now I think this is just the way to go and I definitely 
you know, learned a lot from planning this spread because I am still in the process of finishing off the format of the A5 inserts because it is inserts that my mom and I made. So I think I will be getting rid of the header, you know, markings. Um, yeah, I don't think I need that. Um, and then also, I think that's just it, you know? Obviously leave more space for the hole punching, um, print double-sided and also on cardstock, as well as leave more room for the bottom washi. It's, you know, just those couple things, nothing, nothing else. Um, but yeah. Um, and for the full box on Wednesday, I do change it at the very end, like, not even in this clip. It's gonna be in the clip where I'm back in real time. That's the time where I will show you guys the ch changed full box because I changed that literally before I started filming the, um, the end clip, the ending clip, the closing sort of clip, um, and so that's why. Um, and also I was putting down date covers from Paper Chic Plans and some date dots from Station Stickers, which is a shop that I PR for, so definitely check out her shop and use my code Chloe, um, to save. And for those date covers, in the closing clip, I do change it in real time um, to the date covers included in the kit because I have no idea why I didn't put down the date covers included in the kit. I guess my eyes just, you know, went over and they just completely ignored the fact that there were date covers. And then when I was putting away the stickers, I was like, wait, wait a minute, there are date covers. Why didn't I use that? I don't know, but I mean, I li still like the, um, the, I really do like the way that it looked, and I actually think I prefer that look compared to the one, the day covers included in the kit, um, but I decided to still use, like, change it to the, um, day covers included in the kit, since I don't think those colors would be easy to pull into another spread, so just going by that. And since I already skipped over Monday, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. Um, or if you, you know, aren't comfortable commenting here on YouTube, please let me know any questions or concerns over on Instagram, which again, will be linked down below. Okay, so, um, again, as usual, I do try my best to link down all the shops mentioned down in the comments, no, down in the description box, as well as any referral links and codes that I may have so you guys can save. Um, and I also did try my best to pull on stickers that match the kit colors. Um, I think I did good except for like two or three stickers, maybe five or ten, you know, there are just a couple, like a handful of stickers that do not really match the colors, but other than that, I think it was pretty good. Okay, so on Tuesday, I hurt my ankle, um, but I didn't have any, you know, ankle pain stickers, so I just have that back pain sticker from Papershire. And then, yeah, I do quite a bit of adjusting in this spread, um, like moving around, because I just somehow just keep on ending up putting the stickers down crooked, so that is why. Um, and then I was pretty tired, like I could not fall asleep the night before and so I could not wake up like I just could not um and then I also got happy mail that day I don't remember where it was from maybe Papershire I think um but yeah the script is from Saucy Stickers Co um and then I did some filming and I also I think this was the day where Anyone who had an Apple product would have to update their um, electronic items, like phones, laptops, whatnot. Like, you would have to update it because there was this hacker going around um, hacking people who had, like, Apple products. And so they made this update that prevented the hacker from doing so. And so we had to update our phones and laptops. And then I also could not sleep that night as well. And then the next day I woke up real tired. Like, I was 
I had black circles, literally. Ugh, it's annoying. It's real annoying. That sticker is from Happy Day. Um, then the next thing I... Oh, um, another thing that I do want to say is I didn't have to pull in many labels. I had to pull in, like, a couple here and there just um, to balance out the colors as well as, you know, finding labels that matched the size that I was going for and so it wouldn't look all weird and I didn't want to keep on using the headers because I think you know I use quite a bit um but yeah and then I did post on Instagram that day as well as watch some Disney plus and then I also had a little call with a friend and then at the very bottom I did mark down that I had a class um and I love that class the meeting, the Zoom meeting sticker from Once More With Love. It's absolutely adorable. Um, and then on Thursday, I marked down watching Disney+. Plus. I know it says Netflix. Actually, you haven't seen it yet. Um, wait, here it is. I know it says Netflix. Oh, this is from One Ton and a Million, by the way. Um, I know it says Netflix. It's just that, I don't know. I can't even say the colors matched because it did not. Um, but at the time, I did not have any Disney Plus stickers, and I still don't, actually. Um, but, you know, it was, I don't know why I even grabbed that sticker. Oh, no, 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 that's, mm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I pulled that in. I really don't know. The colors don't match. It's cute. It just doesn't match. But I don't know. It's in there. Um, and then the next thing I marked down is filming and then doing some work on my laptop and also some editing. And then I do mark down in a half box that I was really upset that day. I was pretty stressed and it was not a great day, honestly. And then I do mark down planning with the sticker from Scrubble Prints Co. And the label is actually from Kitty Ann Plans over on Etsy, which is a printable shop. And yeah, that's why. I mean, that's where I got that label from. And then at the very bottom, this is where I had to, like, I spent a good five minutes sitting there and just trying to figure out what sticker I wanted to pull in. Um, and then I do end up marking down TV. And you know what? We can just say that that's for, you know, YouTube. Because I already marked down Disney Plus, and so don't really need another one to mark that. But, you know things happen and then on Friday I had a test so you know that emoji just totally completes the look like that is literally how I felt I was like eh, I don't know how to feel about this like am I happy no am I happy I mean no I'm not I'm not happy but I'm not mad either like I'm prepared but like I'm not happy to do this but you know yeah and then I do mark down posting on Instagram, and then I watch some more Disney Plus, and then I also did mark down going to school with the school word header. I literally never use word headers in my spread unless it's to do some layering, and then I just cover up the word. But I didn't have any sticker that I wanted to put in, and it didn't really fit, and the header just worked, and so I just put it in there, and also the colors matched, you know? And then you know, I did the basic things. I did the same thing literally every single day. I watched Disney Plus YouTube, um, did some work on my laptop, and then, you know, literally that's it. Um, but yeah, nothing too exciting, and I'm gonna be back in real time in just a minute here, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, but yeah, I'm gonna be in real time, like, now. Okay, I am done with this spread. It is actually the next day, and I also changed this full box, which I have to say, this paper, even though it's just regular or plain old paper that's really flimsy and thin, it's actually pretty forgivable because I was able to peel the full box and change it. I don't know. I just, I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this spread. I definitely like this format. Um, there are a couple things that I learned from this doing this spread um, for when I make you know, the final copy of the insert. I'm definitely going to get rid of the header lines because it sort of distracts me when I'm trying to put down labels. And so there's that. And then obviously at the printed, you know, double-sided and keep more space for the bottom washi. Um, other than that, I think I like it. Um, 
and as you guys can tell, I'm not sure if you guys can tell actually, but this isn't, the inserts aren't actually exactly 1.5 width. I'm not sure if it's bigger or smaller, I have no idea. Um, I think it's a bit smaller, um, but I have no idea. But yeah, it's actually the next day, because I finished the spread yesterday, but I had a couple of classes and I completely forgot about, bleh, can't talk, forgot about that, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and also, I literally just realized when I was putting away my stickers that I used my own date covers, which I feel so weird about. I'm like, Chloe, there were date covers included in the kit. You know what? I still like the look. I still like the look. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, I could have used those date covers. And you know what? I'm going to see if I can change it. If I can, I might... Oh my gosh, wait, I totally can. You know what? I will. Because I... I can't stand this. I really can't. Like, I... I don't know... Because these date covers, I could totally pull into any other spread. But, the date covers included it with the kit. You know, the, it's pretty unique to this, you know, kit. So... I'm not sure when I would ever be able to pull it in. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to just do it right now while, you know, doing this. Um, and I could just, you know, do it off camera and just tell you guys I'm going to do it. I mean, you guys would understand, right? You know? So I don't know. I guess I'm going to do it now. <sighs> I could be slow, you know? This could take time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully I was entertaining you guys in the voiceover. I know I'm not the best. Like, I'm terrible with my words. Like, I can't word sentences properly, especially if I'm filming. Like, I don't know why it is. But every single time I start filming, I just get all anxious. I'm not, like, actually anxious. I'm not, like, stressed when I'm filming. Personally, I feel like planning and filming just takes off stress that I carry which is awesome the only thing that I find is I often am at a loss for words when I'm filming like I'll often be like what's that word like what what's going on you know like I'm always confused so there's that but yes that's something I noticed um but yeah Okay, back to this whole planning thing and this insert. I have to say, I actually am pretty comfortable with this format. Um, I totally thought that, you know, I wouldn't be able to fit as many things. But, you know, I think I am able to still fit a couple of things. And I was still able to, you know, fill out and put in everything that I did that day that I want to mark in. And so... Yeah, there were a couple times where I, because I totally thought that I would not have enough space to mark down everything, and so I didn't pull as many stickers, but I'm, like, totally wrong, because I actually had to pull out more stickers, because I ran out, and so I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is weird. I did not, you know, believe that I actually had to get stickers. Obviously, I still have stickers left over just because the size didn't work out, but yeah. Really do like this format, though. Um, so yeah. If there's any other formats that you guys would like me to try out, please let me know. I do want to try out a B6, because I feel like that's just the format that everybody's raving about, you know. It's the new thing, but... It's going to be years until I get to there because it's, you know, I didn't even know there was such a thing as an A5. I mean, I totally knew that there was such a thing. I just didn't know the difference between an A5 and an A5 wide. I just thought that, you know, people got lazy and just forgot to include the W. I don't know. I don't know what I was, you know, what was going on in my head, but that's that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, definitely check out my description box for all the shops mentioned, as well as referral links and codes. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!